Hi guys and welcome back to another story time. I tried to catch the beauty blender and I failed. One more time. One more time before we get into it. Hey! Okay, and what we're going to do this story time is about how I kind of, sort of, used voodoo on my head of year at school. And I suppose if you want to get rid of your head of year at school you could do the same as what I did but just stick with this until the end and take the disposal advice. And the repercussions of using voodoo, which are quite serious, I don't recommend anyone uses voodoo. Don't, don't do it. Okay, so basically this all took place when I was in year 10. Um, it was probably, well it was due to a number of reasons to be fair, but this woman, she hated me, my head of year hated me with a passion. I mean, I got into so much trouble, half the time it wasn't even my fault. Okay, some of the time it was my fault. I can admit liability for that, I can say I did things wrong. Hands up. But anyway, um, a lot of the time I actually didn't do anything and it was just kind of like picking on me for the sake of picking on me to be fair. I know they say you either teach because you can or you teach because you can't. She was a teach because you can't. She she was an awful woman. She did not care about the students. She did not care about your welfare. She did not care the state that you came into school in. I, you know, if there were children that were slashing their wrists, looked like they needed help, looked like they were struggling, looked like they were malnourished, whatever, too thin and hadn't been fed. She did not care. She was there to get paid. And that was it. She did not give a flying okay? She was not a nice teacher. You can always tell nice teachers from horrible teachers. She was a horrible bully teacher. And this is why I used voodoo on her. And um, basically what had happened is my aunt or uncle, one of the two of them, had brought my mum a voodoo doll for Christmas. I don't know why. And um, I'd noticed said voodoo doll. And I'd noticed the voodoo doll had not been used and had been hidden away. So I thought I'd help myself to the voodoo doll. And I did. So basically what I did is I read the book that came with the voodoo doll, understood all the different pins meanings, where to put the pins, how the pins worked, what you needed to do to do the voodoo, all that kind of creepy stuff. So uh, me and my little voodoo doll, we, uh, we, we went to school obviously together and I got stabbed in the leg so many times with the pins, it was very uncomfortable. I do recommend if you are using a voodoo doll and you have got the big pins, maybe take a pincushion because your leg, it's not a nice pincushion. Mm -mm. And um, I just remember one day she'd put me in isolation for something and I had literally done nothing wrong. So I thought it would be time to bust out my voodoo doll. So I would sit there every single time I was in the same room as her, whether it be a lesson, detention, chats, whatever, and what would happen is whenever I was in the same room as her, I'd have my, uh, I'd have my bag, I would have my voodoo doll, hello Mr. Mungu, hello. and um, my voodoo doll would live in my bag. I'd just be sat there with my bag and my doll, just looking at her, just pinning away, pinning away that bitch. Just putting my doll back in my bag whenever she came close, zipping my bag up. And then she'd walk away and then I'd, you know, get my bag out again. Get my little voodoo doll and just, you know, pin that bitch. Because she was awful. Thinking what I needed to think in the right places, stabbing in the right places, just looking at her. And every time I got busted, Oh, miss, I'm just looking for a pen. Have you got a pen? No, I haven't got a pen. You should bring a pen. I'm going to put that in your form, but you haven't got a pen. Oh, really? You were that kind of person. Like, I haven't got a pen, so you're going to write me up for not having a pen. I'm to sit on my desk, depending on how brazen and pissed off I was that day. Wouldn't you, Mr. Monkey? Yes, I would. Anyway, so I did the voodoo for about two months. During the two months of me doing the voodoo, unfortunately... And I do kind of feel, well I do and I don't, I don't know, I don't, okay, I don't. That makes me really horrible, I don't feel bad because she was a horrible person. During the two months 
or three months it was that I was doing the voodoo on her in year 10, she had a total breakdown basically and there were rumours that she was like bleaching her grass, she was washing her grass at home, she was even hoovering it, like she went from being well kept to bag lady status, she just lost her shit. Now to be fair she was doing a job that she should not have ever been doing. Bo's appearance! Anyway, she was she, she was a horrible person, and I know I sound like I'm trying to justify this, but she shouldn't have been teaching. She should not have been teaching. I'm really, really, really sorry for all this news pollution. There were rumours circulating in the school. She had this total mental breakdown. Still tried to teach, and then there's me. Every time I saw her, with my doll. I'm in a way. I don't really think at the time that her mental breakdown had anything to do with my voodoo doll because I'm thinking, look, it's a doll. I don't, I, I do and I don't. Okay, I do and I don't believe in these things. But um, to be honest with you, I don't really think you can claim that it was my fault that she ended leaving because you don't know. I don't know. She could have left for a number of reasons. The mental breakdown could have been brought on by her own personal social life. I don't know. Anyway. I didn't stop. I'm a horrible person, what can I say? I was 15 then, I've grown up a lot since then. But yeah, so after kind of doing voodoo on Mrs T for two to three months, it led to a complete mental breakdown where she had to leave. And once she left, needless to say, I was absolutely petrified of this doll. This doll just freaked me out. This doll did not leave my room. This doll was wrapped up, it was hidden under my bed. I did not look at this doll. I thought, oh my god, I've given my teacher a mental breakdown using a voodoo doll. I saw that come in. I didn't. No, not me. Sir, sir, wasn't me. I don't do voodoo. I'm a Christian, honestly. Just don't look in my back. As I was saying, I was absolutely petrified of this doll. I put this doll under my bed. I was so scared of it. And when we cleaned out my room, I just threw the doll away. Now, if you do do voodoo or you do play with voodoo, there are certain ways to get rid of a voodoo doll. And uh, it's not the way that I did it. So I ended up cursing myself. Now, to get rid of a voodoo doll, what you are supposed to do, I believe, is wrap it in silk, put it in a basket and set it free down a river. You are not supposed to put it in a bin bag with a load of shit you're throwing out. Bad juju then. I'm going to put all my life's uh, issues down to the fact that I, uh, I threw my voodoo doll away wrong. Anyway, so she'd left and we got a new head of year and it just, it, it was even worse really. The next one who we will call, um, Long Socks. He was even worse, and I really do wish I used the voodoo doll on him. But yeah, this is just a really quick story time about how I used voodoo to get rid of my head of year.